up guys and in today's video I'm gonna explain to you what are all the colors of wax for because if you're new to waxing your snowboard you might not know which color to buy or why to buy different colored wax as well as the benefits to each color of wax and actually some tips and tricks to make the wax that you do buy uh, better on your snowboard have tips in your snow waxing basically this is an all wax type of video but mainly we're going to cover the different colors of wax so literally i think there's every single color of wax and the color actually doesn't matter, shockingly. Just, just so you know, the color represents a different type of wax in each brand. I personally use Pearl Wax, which is today's sponsor and my sponsor. They hooked up all this wax so I could uh, do this video for you guys and explain the different types of wax that you need. So even though the Pearl Wax that's blue might be for cold weather, blue for a different company could be a warm weather wax. Each company will explain the color of wax and what temperature it's meant for on their packaging like Pearl does on their consumer packaging right here on the side. So we'll start with the type of wax you'll probably use the most and that's going to be the purple bar right here. Purple is all temperature wax. You can use it for 10 to 30 degrees. So that's going to be like your mid-season. The one you use the most uh, is the purple wax. The other one that you'll use super often is your cold weather wax. That's going to be the blue one. That one is for 5 to 20 degree weather. That is definitely for like your late December, early January, those cold months out of the year. But if you're having a super duper cold day out on the mountain, you can always throw on the green wax. That's what's in this one right here. The green bar wax is for five to negative 10 degree weather days. So those really cold ones. And uh, I don't have a big bar of it because I don't really ride that cold of weather often. So you, you could get by with one of these small little bars. Big tip for the green bar, if you do use it, you're gonna wanna rub some black graphite wax on top of that or mix it in when you wax. Graphite wax, which is black, is meant for either super duper dry snow, which is when it's really cold, the snow is really dry. So that's gonna help out a bunch. Or you can use the graphite wax with the warm weather wax. So warm weather wax is for 20 to 35 degree days slash going into this spring season, which we're in now, when you're in the 40s, 50 degree days. Uh, the warm weather wax is really gonna help you out. And what the graphite does with the warm weather wax when you're in this super late season, Season, is it helps repel all the dirt, all the rocks, all the grimy stuff that you find late season. So you want to mix your yellow and black wax and that's what we're going to do today. Mixing wax is actually a really important thing you can do. So currently, uh, or what I was doing towards the end of the season was I was mixing yellow and purple wax. Mid season, if it's not too cold, I'll mix purple and blue wax. And all that does is each color kind of fills different pores of the snowboard when you are mixing it. So if you have a cold morning but a, like a warmer afternoon, mixing that purple and blue mid-season is definitely going to give you the best results. So like today, I'm going to be riding a bunch of nasty slush, so I'm going to be rocking the yellow and the graphite wax. And uh, that's gonna help repel all the dirt and junk and stuff that's gonna I'm gonna find today on the mountain. So let's wax up this board real quick. If you do not have a waxing iron, a regular iron can do. The only thing about it is these little holes right here for the steam and everything tend to suck up your wax. So you end up using more wax when you use a little iron. I did a comparison video if you wanna see that. It's gonna be right here. But yeah, check out the uh, regular iron versus a waxing iron. Personally, I think both work just fine. While we wait for the iron to warm up and each wax has a certain temperature it's supposed to melt at, uh, I do want to mention that Pearl Wax is eco-friendly. They are uh, a great company, and if you do not have a specific wax company that you use, I highly recommend checking out Pearl Wax. They sell the little bars right here. But if you snowboard often and but like like 20 days a season, you could totally get by with a uh, large bar like this. You want to wax your snowboard about every three to four days of snowboarding, especially if you have long days out on the mountain. And if you use coupon code John Buck on their website, you actually save 15% off your first order. So so I would order like a large bar. Can you say 15% off of it, which is super six. And uh, thanks Pearl for the uh, hooking up all the subscribers. Remember to do any edge work on your snowboard prior to waxing. You don't want to wax your snowboard and then start sharpening or messing with your edges. So do that before you wax your snowboard. Also, you're going to want to clean your base before waxing. I highly recommend using a base cleaner. What that does is it kind of opens up the pores of your base. That way the wax can kind of seep into it a lot better. And also when you use a base cleaner, you can really see it wipes off a lot of that old wax from rails or dirt that's been sitting in your board. And just like once again, the spring conditions, you can see that the evolution guy is getting pretty clean when I uh, use this base cleaner. 
and you definitely want to let, let this dry before applying wax. Look at that. Now that the base is dry, I'm gonna take my yellow bar wax and apply a lot of yellow wax, not a lot, like the majority of it's gonna be yellow wax and then we're gonna come in with some graphite and drip a little some graphite in there. If you've never waxed before, just take your iron, your wax, put it together, it'll start melting and dripping and then you just wanna start dripping it along your base. If your iron starts steaming, you're burning the wax and you're gonna to wanna to turn down your temperature. So obviously when you snowboard, you use your edges the most. That's where I'm gonna apply the graphite wax and then I'll mix a little bit into the base, but it's more important to get it on the edges of the snowboard. And remember, you wanna mix the graphite wax with your green wax or your yellow wax. You don't really wanna put it in with your all temp or your, your cold weather wax, unless it's like the really cold green wax. And while we're waxing in, just remember circle motions, really try and get it in towards the edge of your snowboard because that's once again where you ride the most. And remember, this is just the way I tune up my snowboard. There are hundreds of ways. There's probably more professional ways to do it. But at home, if you do it like this, it's gonna get the job done for you. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope it did help you. And now when you need to go get wax, you know which wax to get. And remember, Pearl Wax is the wax I use. I think it's the fastest, easiest to scrape, easiest to apply wax in the game. So if you want to get any of that linked in the description, there's all their information. Remember, use code John Buck and uh, you'll save 15% off your first purchase. Your first purchase. With that, if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to our channel because we make daily snowboard content. Some of it's educational. Normally, it's a vlog where we just go out and have a great time, like the video that we're going to go shoot in the next 30 minutes. We're going to be on the slopes killing it. If you want any of our Evolution merch, we've got shirts, t-shirts, long sleeves, hoodies, as well as Evolution stickers. All of that is linked in the description. Tag me on Instagram if you get any of it, and just follow my Instagram. I post daily there uh, for just for more content. And with all of that, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving, and we will see you next time. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen, feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody I ain't never gon' need nobody, no, no I ain't never gon' need nobody, no Cliffhanger, yes, I so do Banger, I'm the new Mick Jagger I'm the new Mick Jagger